Hello again, everybody. My cousin told me I should smile, it gives better ratings. I just crossed into the uh, lovely state of New Jersey and I've been doing pretty well with uh, keeping the car running without running out of power. So I thought I'd show you the power screen and tell you about the battery. You can flip through the controls until you get to this power consumption screen. Consumption. And kind of shows you what my average power consumption per mile is, which is 314 watts a mile. And it kind of gives me a projected range based on what I have left of battery life. And with that, it's telling me that I'm going to need to stop in East Brunswick, New Jersey. Now, when you get these cars, all their ratings and what they tell you you can do is based on an average power consumption of 300, which is that solid line below my dotted line that goes all the way across. So what that means is when you charge this car 100% to the top of the battery, topped it off, which really happens, it tells you you can go 294 miles. And that would be based on the fact that you're using an average of 300 watts per mile. Those with a heavy foot will use obviously more than 300 watts per mile. If you're someone who drives, I'd say, less than 70 miles per hour down the expressway, then you would have no trouble meeting the, meeting the 300 watt mile range parameter that they estimate. So, on a lot of the secondary roads, you can see I was well below the 300. Now that I'm on the New Jersey Turnpike, you can see I've jumped over that because I'm traveling at 73 miles per hour. So, I could go faster, I could do 80, but the problem is that I'd have to spend longer charging it at one of the superchargers. So there isn't a whole lot of gain really of doing 85 miles an hour when it's just gonna suck your battery life down and make you stop longer. In fact, I have found that the superchargers are actually better if you hit multiple chargers for short periods of time than having to stop for a long period of time at one. And that's because the chargers are very good at charging, or they'll rapidly charge your car from, let's say, if you're down to 50 miles left to 200 miles of charge in no time. But once you start getting over the 200, the charge slows because lithium ion batteries, you don't ever want to overcharge them. So it generally starts slowing down the charging the closer it gets to the top. Anyway, some of you might find that boring, others may not. I had a uh, good experience at the Blackwater National Wildlife Refuge. Got a bunch of pictures of a few birds. So, we'll see where my next stop takes me. See you later.